I'm very happy and very emotional to be here with you today and I'd like to tell you that even though we have been inside embassies we have suffered the same sort of repression that you have faced we have also been sleeping on the on the floor like you have been we have also shared the same sort of hurt and pain that you have suffered for us it has been very difficult for my sister who is seven months pregnant it has been very difficult for her but you have lifted our hopes watching you resist watching Honduras resisting it has lifted our hopes it has invited us to continue to struggle and we understand that you are the spirit that moves my father you are the people that help him to continue to struggle to move forward this struggle more like anything else before it's not about Zelaya or about Pichu or about his family or his wife but it's about the people of Honduras we can only uh, thank you you are people that no longer holds down your heads in shame and looks at looks at their feet we will continue to lift our heads and we will move forward towards victory because I understand these people because my father has invited me to also understand Honduras to accompany him to understand the people of Honduras to extend our hand I remember when we were in a electoral campaign it was a campaign of fear of terror of lies against the people of Honduras against my father but we ran a campaign of, of hope a campaign of trying to make sure that we put a fourth power into existence that is the power of the people that is a campaign that won but now they want us to continue to go back to the old ways that is they don't want the power of the people they want to put people to death that is they want to submit us with their with their arms they want to shed blood across Honduras but I would like to send a message to all those who support the coup that is the same way that we won in 2005 November 2005 we will win again because we the people has united doesn't matter about color or about religion or about race because we have a rich history because the strength of the Honduran people and you have shown the power will continue to resist and that we will win Hondurans united we will never be defeated that is to my father Zelaya and my father will return to Honduras uh, to come back and to accompany with you to accompany you and to give you a hug it is true that they did not let him return last Sunday when over 700,000 people marched through these streets to try to get to the airport to try to receive my father that is well if they do have an order to arrest him why don't they let him in if they think that he has actually committed a crime why don't they put him in front of the judiciary the reason why is because they are scared of us they are scared of the people that is we are people that are peaceful people but we struggle that is we are a people that we will no longer be attacked we are tired of that today we have noticed that the military coup leaders have tried to present their leaders and they presented themselves as the new leaders of Honduras but we understand this is a military coup we have uh, need to understand that it is a military coup but we will not accept that I won't I will not punish them but the people will punish them that is that uh, 
the people understand who support the military coup. We are many who, who oppose that. But we also understand that it's more than just about providing free education. It's more than just about providing uh, some uh, changes to the education system. That is, it's more than just about giving subsidies to the elderly people. That is, it's, this is not about a struggle of just trying to receive more benefits. That is, it's more than just about trying to join the ALBA. That is, this is not sufficient for us. It's more than just about struggling for the people. It is, that is, that it's more than that. What is important for Zelaya is to work with the people. That is the most important thing. That is why we defend this idea of, of a new constitution, of a new election. And that's why we want we want our National Constituent Assembly. Let's continue forward.